headed by few selected leaders and a member of 80 or more. As the name says it, they work for the welfare of the village by organizing sports events, cultural activities, etc. They are strong and powerful. They work in collaboration with the village authority, Funkai committee, women wing, and eventually act as a defensive force for the entire village. Each season brings new blessing. After all the bumper harvest for the year, the village would be complete as family who have gone to the capital or nearby cities for their studies and job would come back for their vacation. And taking this opportunity, the village organizes the annual off-season festival. And when the village organizes an event, the youth take part in setting up the ambience. And when everything is a success, they celebrate by making a bonfire and entertain themselves with songs and dances. Besides entertainment, the youth will share their desires and express their thoughts in terms of development for the village. Thank you so much, that was very enlightening. Students are the pillars of our society and so are the youths. The youths of this village play a very important role in the village as well as the community. I am here with the youths of Mulvai Loop Welfare Youth Club for an entertainment and also to discuss on the various issues that needs to be highlighted for the welfare of the village. My vacations from class 3 to class 10 I have read in Chasat Lincoln Memorial Academy. In Chasat? Yeah, high school. Okay. Um, after the secondary, I read in, in FAR at Ananda Higher Secondary. Mm. And right now I'm pursuing BA at Modern College. Speaking about electricity, I see no houses lit up, so like, how long has it been? Can any of you tell me, like, since there's no electricity in the village? About the electricity, uh, it's difficult. Since there's no electricity, those solar lamps uh, can you use during the, uh, there's problem, especially those during rainy season, uh, since there's no sunlight, so you yeah, yeah. uh, can use. And it's a problem for those little kids. They, are school. they can't study now nah? mm. because of electricity. Since you know light. Right. Okay. About this road, BMSG mm. pursued the bill, obviously bill, mm. but those workers does not mm, work according to the bill and so and also <coughs> because of they didn't mm, pursue their work, mm. we can't get good roads. Okay. And for your transport, for coming of you, coming of yours and all, so it's we got difficult mm. to what we want and what we demand is to be uh, to be fulfilled by the government. Uh, I think we've gone too deep into our issues. Besides the serious issues, let's move on to a lighter no note. So, can any one of you entertain us? <laughs> As versatile their lifestyle may seem, the villages of Molvailup are connected to their roots, their culture, their identity and their tradition remains the same as inherited from their forefathers. Almost all the elders of the village has the capability to sing folk songs or the so-called Pula Pala. In fact, 
they have a group of well organized elderly people, in particular, singing folk song and call themselves as International Cookie Cultural Troupe, presenting marvelous varieties of Pula Pala. With every new dawn comes a new day. As the sun rises in between the mountain, the church bell calls. And like every tribal village, the church of Mulvailup Kuki Baptist Convention stands at the tallest point of the village. At the end of the sixth day comes the seventh day, a day of prayer. Young and all alike will now attend the church service. The wave of Christianity has reached far and wide. As a true follower of the faith, they believe and observed a day of rest from all manual labor. Each household attend church service as well as Sunday school. Besides formal education, children of the village attend Sunday school classes and learn about moral education, teachings of the Bible and music classes. The calm and serene village of Molvailup leaves from hand to mouth, but that does not stop their love for education. The effort the parents take to give their children the best education deserves much respect. Despite earning meager amount from cultivating farms, they would save every penny to send to their children living outside the village or towns and cities. And only if the village can have a level of education beyond primary level, their burden would be much lighter. The village of Molvailup has a total of 140 households with a total population of 400 villagers. The main source of livelihood is juming cultivation, or as we know it, the shifting cultivation. In addition to that, they produce cash crops such as pumpkin, turmeric, yam, or tree bean, locally known as yongchak. Time and tide waits for none. It is time I bid my farewell with today's episode of A Day in Molvailup Village. With this, I shall end it and I shall see you again in a new episode with a unique new village of Manipur. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>